Clash of Clans has given us a troop that not only heals but also is going to turn into a bear and gonna defend for us. What is up guys it's your boy King Shabby and welcome back to Shingle Gaming. In today's video we're gonna see how this new troop named as Druidworks and not to miss out on any future updates hit that like button and hit that subscribe button and if you like the leaks that are coming on the 17th June let me know down in the comments how you feel about them from th14 onwards you can unlock this new tube anyone under that I'm sorry I apologize level 11 dark barracks can be upgraded at th14 and it will be a 13 day upgrade and merely for 14 million elixir it will go the new druid will go to level 4 on 16 th16 that is so let me explain its main mechanics and like what it does in the first place so it is a healer technically it's not fully a healer as you guys might already know uh, it also turns into a bear so how does that work so a druid when it starts as a healer for 30 seconds at maximum level it will heal and after that it will turn into a bear just like super hog riders when it dies it splits into a hog plus the rider same for this guy as soon as it dies or runs out of healing it will turn into a bear what kind of things does the bear like so as soon as it turns into a bear it will start targeting the defenses which are near him and it will not be jumping the walls just like the hog so that's something you could relate to but again uh, this bear not only has the tanking abilities uh, way better than the healer but also heals better than the healer so let's compare this guy with the healer and some stats as well so here we have housing space of 16 for the druid and the healer only has the housing space of 14 again a win for the healers here hit points on the healer is 1900 for the druid it's only about 1600 to win so far for the healers but that's not the main thing that makes the healers healers let's compare the healing capabilities now so 68 heal at maximum level for healers but 140 healing for the druid literally the double the amount of healing so you will need less druid for queen walk or the warden walk so peeps who take four healers for queen walk now you can take two druids or even like one druid plus the healer puppet same thing for the warden Three druids should be more than enough to heal, com heal comparing to the five healer charge. And one of the major factor is druid not only heals ground troop, it can also heal the flying troop. So now you can have our air warden charge. Druid has a greater range than healers and it holds a stick that has honey stuck to it and it throws the honey and makes it work out. One of the cons of druid that it will only heal for 30 seconds as you can see the top blue bar has the maximum amount of healing it can handle as soon as the druid run, uh, fills up that bar it will turn into a bear and start targeting the defense and become a tank for your troops or your heroes now let's show you a live replay right here now as you can see i'm using as one druid with my queen charge right here with the healer puppet and as you can see he's healing well enough to keep that queen alive even though there's like two to three defenses attacking and as soon as that blue bar fills up it turns into a bear and start attacking walls because there's no defense outside of the walls which is i think kind of like the minus point kind of but not too not too crazy it's still pretty good i think it's going to be really really important to use when using for a queen charge now let me show you how it works for both healing ground troops plus the air troops as you can see i'm going to dropping a dragon rider plus the queen with the druid now as you can see he's throwing a honey that is bouncing off the dragon rider and also hitting the queen so then both are getting healed at the very same time and as soon as it dies again it turns into a bear and start attacking the walls Now let me show you some cool strats that might be usable and also hard mode sneak peek right here. This is going to be the first uh, attack on the hard mode for me. So I'm going planning uh, planning to use the super archer blimp which has been lost kind of in time since the TS16 has been announced. So I'm going to show you how the new druid works with the new or should I say the old super archer blimp. 
the strategy is simple i'm going to be carrying around three druids uh, one titan and a little bit of super barbarians with some root riders to open up some walls so here we go okay so as you can see this game is a hard mode so hp and my attacking abilities for my heroes has been uh, debuffed so i'm going to be using some barbarians here to create a little bit of funnel here there using some of these uh, uh rocket balloons as well to create more funnel two more uh, so that blimp can go behind it and thank for the upcoming mines and stuff oh yes we did find a red mine there so dropping in front of the eagle artillery we do get a decent amount of value as you can see there's like two expos two infernos even like a clan castle and possibly even the monolith luckily i think the so far the super archer blimp is going decent we still have two invisibility spells and they're still doing decent amount of damage and i think i think we might be also able to take down some of these builder huts as well oh yes we do we take down the clan castle builder huts 22 percent of great amount of value now we can uh, deploy all of our rest of the troops behind that the heroes a uh, little bit of uh, one druid just in case so that you know healing is not too much uh, because the healing is fast at the first but as soon as the 30 seconds are over there's no healing so dropping all three at the very same time is going to be negating the healing effect so slowly dropping them or maybe like dropping them together when there's higher amount of damage is going to be i think a very good chance to have extra healing so that's pretty good and for the right side i can just slowly use my super barbarians with the royal champion to tank for everything remember this is when i don't this is when this is a hard mode attack so all the defenses are doing 10 percent extra damage whilst my heroes have less attacking damage and less hp so far so good royal champion is doing his job uh you know destroying defenses on the right side and super barbarians are creating funnel for the hero so they stay inside and as you can see this base is practically over we have nothing left off the base except the town hall and we still have ability on the queen and i think she should be able to take down the town hall in three and two a one and bang there we go town hall is taken down we still have ability health on each and every hero except two died which is the warden and the royal champ but again royal champ was solo so she was able to take that beating down so this was pretty great uh i think tutorial for what's coming for the druid and i think this strategy is going to be pivotal uh, for th 15s 14 16s you know everything i think a uh, lots of root riders will be dying down with the new druid coming so thank you guys again so much for watching and if you liked what we have here you know hit that likes button hit that subscribe button and comment down below what you think of the new druid True. peace out bye bye